Okay, so they creating a lot of distractions out here. Um, and it's a lot of people that's staring at me that's very wicked, and it's not because I'm beautiful. They're staring at me because I'm Andrea John, and I'm the black woman that's pregnant out here that these devils um, is trying to blood sacrifice. Now, first of all, let me tell you that black men are hollering at me. Nah, fuck all that. Let me tell you they're trying to distract me because everybody knows that I make my videos and then they trying to do some witchcraft shit and have me walk in the streets and have all of these Ku Klux Klan motherfuckers looking at me and these sold out motherfuckers looking at me walking around making my videos and they all sitting around watching the country do a whole witchcraft persecution on me and my baby. So um, let me let me um, just go into some details about why I decided to make this video because when I see people watching me when I'm getting my evidence and stuff together what I'm gonna talk about and people trying to distract me the it, it does mess with your mind and there's the Illuminati that's what I said when I keep seeing them coming up on me being nosy and trying to distract me with their wicked asses but you know what I'm I was like you know I'm gonna keep on working on my stuff because I already know how they operate that don't phase me I already know a motherfucker try to do something to me but that don't phase me and I was like you know this subject popped into my mind because they try to distract your thoughts and throw you off and I said what would I think in the most dire situation dealing with the most wicked people what can be the subject that I could come up with because I have it all written down but they swarming all around us trying to pretend like they don't know what's going on wicked white witch and so um here basically they taking advantage of of me so anyway here it is basically so um when i was in the jail i had vision of all of my family uh knowing about the baby and wanting to kill the baby that, that, I had a vision of all my friends, um, all of my family, and they want me distraught while I'm trying to tell y'all, and I have it organized, and they want me distraught while I'm trying to get the information together with whoever they got me at the house with. And then they riding around thinking they're gonna intimidate somebody with their evil asses. They knew. So let me go back to the sheet that has their names on it then. Fuck y'all. Cynthia Overa, Larissa Jones, Shakina Jones, Shannara Collins, Andrew Jones, Austin Matter, Conroe Police Department, the Conroe Correctional Facility, the Montgomery County Jail Correctional Facility in Conroe, Texas. They all knew that I was pregnant by Austin. They all knew that I was in the back of the jail. Help me, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, please do not allow all these people driving around me, trying to distract me from telling the truth. Stop what I need to be said, because I can't say it in that house with that man in there. And I'm tired of y'all shit. And I seen in the vision when the white man was saying, this is gonna be your punishment. Leaving you with this baby in you. Let this be your punishment. I seen all of them. And then they all went trying to come and do witchcraft, trying to kill the baby. I seen Cynthia. Cynthia came in the spirit when she told me she was a witch and that she was an Illuminati. She said, oh, we got to kill that rat in your belly. And here goes another one. And he's just sitting here bumping music all out, the money is. Evil ass people. And it ain't gonna stop me from telling. Cynthia, leave me alone. Cynthia is a grand Illuminati witch that molest children and she told me and she told me God was mad at her 
and she said, oh, they got another black man sitting here like he cleaning up or some shit, you know, watching me like a fucking hawk. Fuck you mean. I need to go back this way anyway. So anyway, Cynthia said when I was in the cell where they was trying to do the ritual, she was like, oh, um, we got to kill that rat in your belly. We got to kill that rat in your belly. While they was denying me a doctor for the baby. These evil KKK racist ass motherfucking coon and blacks, they know exactly what's going on. And Larissa, I had the vision of Larissa. And when that man said, when I remember that man saying, this is gonna be your punishment, leaving you with your baby and your belly and lying about it. Larissa came and let in the vision and said she was sorry and let them people drag me back there, call me crazy. And then she came trying to punch the baby all in the stomach and trying to attack me in the vision. And it was and I had to fight her off of me. And Tanisha did the same thing. And Austin was coming trying to kill the baby in the vision too. Talking about he was down with some gangs and some devils and them white people. And he white anyway. And he was the one that got shot for hurting us. And he the one that I'm pregnant by. And he the one they all was going to sell me out for. And he the one that was going to sell my baby out for. He the one. And when I think about that white man saying to me, and these white women, why are you get yours? Trying to, trying to be nosy. You gotta be so nosy for. Cause they know what's going on and they know what they have been trying to protect. Do not talk to me, whoever it is, don't talk to me. Anyway, so, um, let me tell y'all about this. So when I think about that white man saying, that's going to be your punishment. So y'all got to think about how much I've been going off about being pregnant and how much I've been going off on them hospitals and for these folks to think they were going to sit back the entire time and act like they didn't know. Then you want to call me loud. You want to say I'm ghetto. You want to have all these ratchet ass motherfuckers asking me if I'm all right. Fuck you mean I'm going to get this shit out of me. And ain't nobody going to say shit. And I'm walking right past the church in the name of Jesus. And these are abominable churches. But I'm not. Because they got these black Freemasons all up in their church. So anyway, I seen uh, that Austin knew and that he was to go along with it because of this gang and lie. And because Cynthia was a witch, and the women in Cairo and the courts was witches, along with right along with the rest of them. And then my dad, I had visions of Andrew Jones, which my mama told me he might not be my biological father, but he's Larissa and Shakina biological father, uh, for sure. And she said, he, now he told me something different, but fuck what he said, because I'ma tell you what I seen about Andrew and my pregnancy. I seen him trying to lie with these free black Freemason niggas. I see them trying to lie and say I wasn't pregnant by Austin. Cause it's something about them trying to make him famous. Something about them trying to make it seem like he was the victim. Something about them trying to murder my baby and me. To try to make the case look like, oh, Andrea didn't have to hurt him. And then try to lie on my case and murder me so they could try to get vengeance because I did hurt him. And Andrew in the vision was telling other people that my baby was not Austin baby after these Illuminati rich, wicked ass people tortured me and my child for 10 months while I was in labor. And I called Andrew. And Andrew said that he contacted the news while I was in the jail. And that he told the news that they was poisoning me and my baby. But he ain't come get me. He didn't come visit me. He didn't give me a lawyer. Nobody helped. They wasn't answering phones. 
and they were still back there poisoning me and that baby. And still want to be driving his evil ass all around because this shit must be getting to the right ears. And I seen the Conroe police knew that I was pregnant. And I seen Andrew trying to lie and say that I was pregnant by a black man. And uh, me checking Andrew and telling him, you know this ain't no black man, baby. And he's still over here and they think I wasn't gonna be filming them. What the fuck you following me for? Evil black man. Sell out black man. And then trying to be nosy and shit. Okay, well the Conroe police knew. The Conroe police knew that I was pregnant in the jail and I had a vision of the white sergeants from the correctional officer. Yes, I'm telling. No, I don't need to talk to you. Don't follow me again. So um, I told the Conroe police, I told the Conroe police um, that I was pregnant. Please leave me alone. I told the con because they wicked. I told and they ain't for to keep fooling me. Now you might have me in a little situation, but you ain't gonna keep fooling me. You ain't got my back in this. And everybody can see that. Only thing they gonna try to do is talk to you and pull some bullshit on you for these folks. Now, like I said, the Conroe police, I had visions of the Conroe police knowing that I was pregnant and um, that I am pregnant in the jail. And the Conroe, uh, the, a white sergeant from the correctional facility, she was uh, going through the uh, jail trying to stop a black doctor or woman from helping me when I was in labor. And she was like getting booked with her when she was trying to see what was going on when I was writing the medical infirmary and saying I needed a doctor and then meeting with her and going off on the black lady about it. And the black lady, when I went into labor, she frantically was trying to help me in the vision and this uh, white woman sergeant, she stopped her and was getting all up in her face around the hospital bed trying to stop her from helping me in the vision. And then so um, I had seen a vision of Cynthia Overa and the Cairo police trying to cover up the evidence to my case and trying to bury the evidence to my case um, about Austin abusing me and God said, well, she got 911 calls. She got evidence. Y'all might have buried whatever you else you had, but she got 911 evidence because there was a lot of people that knew he was abusing me that was lying about it. And so, um, and then just trying to get rid of evidence of him abusing me. And so um, basically um, my pregnancy was one of the evidence as well. And and they, uh, Cynthia Overa, uh, it was something about them uh, trying to get him to get another girl pregnant and then turning around and saying that I never was pregnant. And um, then I saw my stomach and God was like, well, Andrea was pregnant first and he showed my stomach and he said that uh, Austin was beating me up for my money and he said Austin was beating me up for my car and then they tried to say it before they could say anything. God said, no, uh, Cynthia and Joseph gave Andrea that car and that was her stuff and he was robbing her and then he was beating her up up and she's pregnant he was like and, he, and then he was like showing my house in my living room and he was showing my apartment and then them trying to have him in an apartment or have some woman or someone else in an apartment and like um i seen um <clears throat> like all my damn stuff have pretty much damn near stopped working hold on so i seen um q and jatavia in a vision, these people that had, um, that I met, that had met me, I met them in Conroe, Texas, and they knew me a little bit, and I told them a little bit about my baby daddy before he got out of prison, but I was cool, I was taking care of my son, like the pictures and the videos y'all seen, that was around the time that I knew Q and Jatavia, and um, I saw a vision of them, and Q, uh, and Jatavia was trying to say, oh, Austin got somebody else and trying to be evil. And I was like, well, you do know that I'm pregnant by him. You know what I'm saying? And I, in the vision, 
and they was trying to make it seem like he moved down he ain't worried about me la 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 like I need something to be worried about somebody is torturing me and my baby and somebody is illegally trying to take my child and molest my children and murder us when the shit come out so what the fuck is you talking about him getting another girl pregnant why would I give a fuck about that and people is over here lying about my pregnancy now and these are the visions that I seen so it's people that do know and people that think they gonna uh, sit back and watch when I think about that white man saying this gonna be your punishment to leave that baby inside of you so guess how many people think they gonna sit around and blood leash and be evil and watch me telling them about my shit that I've been going through and then letting the government sit there and lie and letting doctors and stuff sit there and lie letting people try to crush my belly in the hospital letting men try to take me somewhere and try to make me have sex with them so hard that it try to hurt the baby to have grown ass men try to fight me to have witches poisoning me in their homes to sit over there and have witches poisoning me in the shelter to sit over there and have witches trying to fight me outside the shelter and get me put out the shelter to sit over there and do some wickedness like that and then have all these people trying to sit around and act like they didn't know and call me crazy so um who else? I seen something about uh, my grandmother and my cousin Irma knowing that I was pregnant. Um, I seen something about them knowing that I'm pregnant um, and something about um, people in my family being pregnant and something about my pregnancy, but them keeping it a secret and nobody coming forward. Um, I seen something about um, Inger Chandler and the commissary ladies and stuff doing something to my food and trying to starve me and not give me the proper diet of food for the pregnancy like the white girls and the other black girls was getting and poisoning my food. And then in the vision and they were in the officer, I mean, the Miss Morales was working for the commissary and she said uh, that uh, she felt sorry for them not giving me the amount of food that they were supposed to give. Uh, me in the jail like they was giving. She showed me how much all the other girls was getting in the vision. And when I seen how much food they was giving the other girls, because I stopped Morales one day when she was bringing me to commissary. And I said, Morales, do not poison me. I said, what is your name? She said, Miss Morales. And I said, do you know that they have been poisoning my commissary? And she said, no, I didn't know. I said, if you bring me poison commissary, I'm gonna remember your name. And she looked at me. And then she said, uh, when she brought my commissary, she said she didn't have it. Like she didn't want to give it to me. And then they still poisoned it. And she brought it to me the next day and they didn't bring my commissary to me the same day that they brought the other girl stuff <clears throat> and then so when I got my commissary it was poison and I demanded to see her and I demanded to get a refund and they refused saying that I had already signed for the stuff and that they wouldn't give me a refund and she ran off saying and they were saying I started screaming and saying take me into uh, population because y'all back here poisoning me and y'all back here poisoning my stuff and I went off on her for doing that shit and she was shaking and looking all scared and then so um after that uh she was showing me in the vision um after they kept me back there continuing to do that uh she showed me in the vision how much food the other pregnant girls was getting and she was like crying and they were trying to argue with Inga Chandler Inga Chandler was uh right there saying that she would not let me out of the cell uh, because my case was a high profile case but Miss Morales was looking like that's wrong because y'all starving her and she's pregnant in the cell and uh, so they knew and they out here trying to think that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be crazy for telling so uh, there was uh, people who uh, all over Conroe, everybody in Conroe, Texas, knew that I was pregnant. But they're very racist out there. The black people are very racist out there. And they all knew that I was pregnant by this young white man and that he was abusing me. And they all uh, helped cover it up, everybody out there in Conroe, Texas. They all helped cover up my pregnancy. Um, and my family helped too. Uh, my so-called associates, some people I knew, they helped cover it up. Um, I don't have anybody in this world but Jesus Christ. And they all did this to me. 
So the hospitals, um, I had visions about the doctors, the black doctors trying to uh, chase me and murder me and trying to do anything that they could to try to kill me uh, because of the baby and because of my pregnancy. Uh, I seen black nurses um, uh, in, like trying to uh, help these Hispanic women cover up uh, my pregnancy in the jail um, and then lie about certain tests. Um, I seen inmate girls trying to get me set up outside the jail and trying to have men give me cigarettes and drugs to try to make me look like I did something to the baby. Um, so they knew about it too. They know that I'm pregnant too. And they was, they trying to hide it as well. Um, and they pretty much, the people trying to act cool about it now, but now let me just keep on going. So um, I had visions. Hold on, they got that music real loud. Father God, in the name of Jesus, please help me, Lord, because it's a uh, bit of a distraction. Um, I seen like my uncles, I had visions. Uh, I'm just, I just want to focus on how many people knew that I was pregnant and who all I seen in the spirit that knew. Um, I seen something about Shannara and something about the men uh, setting me up. Uh, that that's some, that was something else that I saw in uh, one of the visions, that there was a man that bought me something and there's something about he slept with uh, Shannara before and there's something about Shannara uh, not really helping me like she really could have. Um, and, it, I, and I seen, um, so they kind of distracted me a little bit. my pregnancy, Father God, who all knew that I was pregnant, who all knew. Okay, so I seen all the black girls, like all these black girls all over America. I seen all these black girls all from all over America, um, especially from California, from Hollywood. Um, I saw black women from Atlanta. Um, I saw black women from all over uh, even some from that look like they might have been like maybe an African priestess or a Jamaican Haitian voodoo priestess, um, you know, but I seen black women uh, coming from all over uh, in these visions and these black women were trying to attack me in these visions and they were trying to fight me. They're riding past right now doing like this because they know I'm telling and there's this witchcraft out here. So um, in Atlanta, so uh, it's all over, but especially here, cause they want to be on top so damn bad. But anyway, um, basically, Father God help me in the name of Jesus. Father God in the name of Jesus. I saw black women from all over um, the uh, United States. And it was young black women that were in college. It was young black women that were still in high school. You know, they had their children doing stuff to me. Um, and then I saw uh, older black women, like old women, middle-aged women, like 40, 50. Uh, I saw all these women and they were coming trying to hurt my baby in the vision. Um, in the vision, these women were running up on me and they were coming like to jump me, like they were trying to jump me and kill the baby. And then they was, uh, some of them were trying to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, they were trying to pull out knives on me. Um, they were trying to pull out um, anything. They were trying to do anything to hurt me. And um, like God, the Holy Spirit was fighting them. And so, for me to be pregnant and all these black women all over the United States really do know the truth, you know, that's why I went off so hard that I did. Because it's one thing when you abuse a person. It's one thing when you talk about somebody's ethnicity. It's one thing when you attack someone in their home. It's one thing when you attack someone's child. It's one thing when you rob someone. It's one thing when you lie on someone. But they took that shit way too fucking far to sit over there and lie about my pregnancy.
and to do all that they did. And and I know it's the reason why they still been sitting around lying about it. They just coming from every corner like fucking zombies, trying to make sure there's always somebody who can listen and watch me and bother me and see what I'm doing. And this do not bother me, because I was hoping you wouldn't say shit to me. Y'all are really fucking annoying. You're fucking annoying. I don't care. These are my enemies, so you can do what the fuck you want to do. Like police too like they riding past all of this shit is a distraction to keep the truth from coming out so where was i before these people keep bothering me um see father god in the name of jesus all these black girls all over america know that i'm pregnant so i'm not a fool by posting my videos and knowing that it's been a long time and these black women and these black women in this city right here just watching and they could have been fucking went and they all in my don't talk to me please gosh and you see most of them would have been trying to pop off on me but they trying to be slick let me even take my earrings off just in case shit but anyway so um but they need to leave me alone so anyway, um, ain't nothing they got to offer me that the devil can offer me right now that's more important than telling what I need to say. So anyway, um, the black women in America, they think I'm slow because they think they smarter than me. They, they know that there's supposed to be a certain bond there as black women. So they hold sitting back and not saying anything. That's just to buy them enough time to pull their little bullshit on me with these niggas over these past months that they done did. They know me and my baby was tortured in the jail cell. And so, you know, I ain't even worried about that because they love the clout. They love the clout off of hoping that we're in a new era where they could be just as evil to another black person with a white person and then think that that shit gonna fly. And God said, no, not with him. And he let me know they done done this before. So they really think they just, you know, the shit, you feel me? But anyway, so um, the black women knew and they was doing the most, bro. The black, in my vision, the black women was doing the most. They was the main ones helping uh, the police, like these black women. They was the main ones trying to attack me and kill the baby. They was in the visions, they was the main ones trying to set me up with dudes. They was the main ones trying to just hurt the baby and trying to cover up the baby, the evidence about the baby. Because even black women know, and God was like, a lot of these black women was jealous of me and then turned around trying to help some white people cover up the evidence about me being pregnant and being so wicked to where they was over there trying to attack me and um, um, they was covering up uh, like evidence in the medical field because a lot of these black women had worked as nurses. A lot of these black women worked in clinics. A lot of these black women was doctors. A lot of these black women uh, knew about my pregnancy. And regardless, and they know that I'm pregnant. So regardless of if they felt like I had a right to defend myself, if, regardless of if they felt like I had a right to protect myself, they know about my pregnancy. And then this witch is driving past me smiling. No, bitch. That shit don't work on me. But anyway, so um, basically, she, uh, all these nurse, all these nurses from the jail was help. Black nurses in the jail was helping them cover up my pregnancy. Then they was doing witchcraft, um, in the spirit and trying to kill the baby in the spirit. Sure, I'm gonna go across this goddamn street, huh? And go into this store. But yeah, and he no, don't bother me, please. Do not, please do not talk to me. Please do not talk to me. Cause they know what time it is. It's not, not today. Not today. So um, these black women knew about my pregnancy and my family knew.
my whole family knew. I kept having visions about my family being fully aware that I was pregnant and trying to fight me in the spirit and do the same bullshit. And um, I seen all the hospitals, doctors, everybody trying to do the shit. And I saw gangs. I saw visions of all the gangs out here in America knowing that I'm pregnant and all of them trying to help cover it up. And I saw the police and the military and the government. I saw everybody, Donald Trump. I saw everybody. Hey. Oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to get out of here, but I feel like I forgot to do all this talking. But yeah, so I seen all these people in visions knowing about my pregnancy. And uh, they threatened to have my son cut the baby out of me, threatened to make me eat the baby, and all this stuff about my son. So, you know, for me to be disappointed, um, I seen so many people. I seen Ashaya mama, Stefania knowing about my pregnancy and the vision. I seen her daughter Dejanae knowing about my pregnancy, but I just seen wickedness. And the Holy Spirit showed me that I had so many people in my life that had watched me, you know, struggle. I seen people that watched me prosper. I seen people that didn't like me. I seen enemies and he was just showing me that he had blessed me so much in my life that I had so many people that wanted to see me fail that when it was time for them to come forward and tell the truth about my pregnancy, that they all used it as an opportunity to do something wicked to me. And then people was back there trying to kill me and my child. And all these people know about my pregnancy because God wouldn't have showed it to me if um, it wasn't real. And he revealed a lot more to me because he showed the wickedness of the black Freemasons. And he showed that them black Freemasons was deliberately trying to help these white women kill my baby. And it almost sounds like something that I shouldn't be worried about. But when I see all these black men trying to follow me around, they have been doing this since I was out of the jail, they had it set up for me to go to a black man house that was trying to fight me. So at the end of the day, it's all a setup, everything. And anybody that can't see that is just not, they not intelligent. So I need to go ahead and get to some more topics and try to write stuff down neater.